is up everybody it is friday august 25th and i decided i'm gonna do a little full day of eating video take you guys through everything that i'm eating right now as well as give some just overall advice as to what i follow when i'm on a cut i know some of you may be thinking luke you just had a bodybuilding show and then a powerlifting meet why are you on another cut to be quite honest i don't know who knows man Nah, I'm joking. I know why. I'll probably explain it. You can probably get a guess as to why um, just for watching this video. But yeah, I think it's going to be a great day and let's get after it. Before we start, I'll do a little physique and like pose and update just so you guys can see where I'm at. And now let's go make our first meal. First meal of the day is some oats, some protein powder, some Cheerios, and some frozen blueberries. I actually ran out of the protein powder that I was using, so I'd use two different ones. I used uh, like pure peanut butter and then chocolate peanut butter. And the final touch that I've been doing is instead of cinnamon, I've been doing pumpkin spice since you know it's fall. Pumpkin spice, it's all the rage. Just sprinkle this over the top. And that's our meal. I was about to eat my breakfast. I think we can go over tip number one on how to manage a cut. That is to make sure you are eating not only protein with every meal, but high protein in the morning. What this is going to do is protein is like the hardest to digest macromolecule. It takes the most energy, it takes the most time. So by allowing yourself a decent amount of protein in the morning, it's going to make you feel more full throughout the day. Therefore, you're not going to be craving food as much. Having a high protein breakfast is absolutely pivotal, especially because a lot of times like with oats, uh, with blueberries, you can include high fiber foods that also make you feel more full after you consume them. So high fiber and high protein to start off your day will essentially just make you have less cravings throughout it. So that's tip number one. It is 8, 12 a.m. I just had my first client. I have another client at 9 a.m. And I'm going to run to the grocery store because Fridays are the days that I go grocery shopping. Luckily, I live two blocks away, so it's not that hard. Um, I'm not going to bring you guys with me because it's a weird grocery store, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I'll break down everything that I get when I go to the grocery store as well as some overall tips for grocery shopping on a cut. All right, to run you guys through everything I got real quick. Starting off freezer, I got another bag of blueberries and another bag of frozen avocado. It's a little easier to keep the avocado ripe for longer that way, just get it frozen. Then for the fridge, I got around five pounds of chicken. I got one thing of ground turkey, uh, 93 seven. I already had another one. I had apples and I had bananas. And then I bought a new bag of golden potatoes. I had bagels already. Over here, I got two new things of egg whites and a thing of peanut butter. I already had almond milk and then my dressings. Up top, all we had to get were those off-brand Cheerios. I already had rice and I already had oats. I had some diet root beer for my roommate because he really liked them. And then in here, chocolate, caramel, and caramel. I already had apple cinnamon, rice cakes. For our second, I don't know if you want to call that a meal, but it's just the classic three rice cakes, one serving of honey, and then one tablespoon of peanut butter. As you can see, kind of botched the rationing. Threw a little uh, pink Himalayan salt on top too. I eat this every single day. It's dessert to me. I, I never get tired of it. Just some overall 
tips that have helped me with grocery shopping for myself as I am a college senior. Uh, just gonna go through them. First off, go in with a list. The amount of times that I've walked into a grocery store, kind of been walking around aimlessly just thinking that I had an idea of the things that I wanted and that ended up just buying shit is countless. Having a list, at least of just like the big items, so proteins, carbs, fats, and like knowing what you are there for will not only make you spend less time in the grocery store, it'll also help you save money because you won't be buying unneeded stuff and it'll be easy for you to stay on track. Going off of that, don't overcomplicate things. Especially as you're getting new into cooking or you know preparing food for yourself, the simpler the better in my opinion. It's also gonna save you money, stick with what you know is good for you and you can prepare easily. Last big one I would say is when you're in the grocery store, um, always go for the store brand of whatever item it is. As you guys saw, I bought some whack off-brand Cheerios because they were literally $4 cheaper than the exact same box of Cheerios that were branded. The macros are the same. I assure you the taste is the same. Literally, it's a branding thing. So save some money and just be smart about that. And then I guess another minor one is like if applicable to you and you have like a big parking lot uh, at your grocery store, park far away, get some extra steps in. It's good for you, it's a little cheat code. And of course, it is time to have my morning. Greens, reds, electrolytes, creatine. I drink this literally every morning. Strawberry reds with the strawberry electrolytes, pineapple, coconut greens, unflavored creatine, all in the Gila mix. Code LUCOP15 for BPN, code HOP for Gila mix. It's all about. We've done four clients. I'm actually about to head to lunch right now with Bear Bells, which I'm super stoked about. Um, but the next kind of cutting or weight loss tip that I wanted to give is water intake. So it's only about like 9.30 right now and I've had 60 ounces of water, three pretty much full water bottles of my Gila mix. Not only is water intake gonna help you feel more full with what you're eating, so I try and drink like a bottle of water either like right before or like during the meal that I'm having and then one after between my meals. Um, it's also just gonna help with the excretion process. So, you know, your metabolism and it's just gonna make you feel a lot better. And a lot of people are always like, oh, like I hold water weight. And a lot of that happens because you are dehydrated and your body's trying to hold on to the little bit of water that it has. So if you're constantly hydrating yourself, constantly making sure that you know, you're know you drinking enough water, your body's just gonna be able to excrete that and you're gonna feel a lot better. Regarding how much water you should be consuming, I think it depends. Um, I try and drink a gallon and a half of water every single day, but that's because I train twice a day and I sweat a decent amount. It's also important to note that you should be drinking sufficient electrolytes, which is why I add a scoop in my morning, I'll salt all my food, and then I'll add a scoop probably a little later in the day. You'll see me a water bottle with uh, some electrolytes in it. Um, having that additional sodium just allows your body to retain that water, keep the muscles hydrated, keep you from cramping, helps out. Let's go get lunch with Bear Bells. I'll show you guys all the cool stuff. So we went out to coffee, so it's just like a black iced coffee. Bear Bells, they sent me soft bars, they sent me salty peanut, they sent me creamy crisp, <laughs> and then I have a backpack and a little journal. So I'm gonna have myself a creamy crisp right now because it's so damn good, but so grateful, man. That's, it's unreal. Um, I think getting into my next tip and regarding, you know, bear bells or, you know, the rice cakes is find a way to make low calorie snacks good. Bear Bell's protein bars, 200 calories, 20 grams of protein. They're good for you. Rice cakes are like 50 calories per rice cake. You throw a little peanut butter, a little honey on it, you know, you're not even doing 300 calories. Good for you, tastes good. So yeah, my recommendation is find low calorie. If you can make it high protein, that's really good too, because like we talked about in the beginning, protein's gonna make you feel more full. Um, just find what works for you. Meal number two, like our actual meal, some egg whites, some avocado, a bagel, and this Tabasco sauce. This is like giving Sriracha a run for its money right now. It's so good. And of course, your boy's gonna have a honey crisp apple as well. All right, it is 2 p.m. Clients are all done for the day, so I'm getting ready to head to the gym. So we got our pre-workout snack. I really messed up the execution with this. There's like two blobs of peanut butter on there, a banana, but it's like, too big and then caramel rice cakes and the pumpkin spice on top. And then for our pre-workout, just the classic endo pump and flight. Sheesh. 
post-workout and cardio, eight ounces of chicken, 200 grams of golden potato, and then some avocado. I'm gonna throw probably some sriracha on top of this because that looks pretty dry, but yeah. And now I still need to hop in the shower post-gym. Don't call me disgusting, all right? Whatever, I wasn't that sweaty. Um, but I like to do like a little, you know, sweet treat, if you will. I, I don't know, man. I eat just like a chocolate rice cake or a caramel rice cake after um, like a very savory meal. Um, just to kind of, you know, satisfy the taste buds. And I'm also drinking my water with strawberry electrolyte. Or no, this is lemon lime electrolytes. So, yeah. And I think this takes me to like my last point about managing a cut or staying on track with a diet is you want to space out your meals by allowing yourself to ration out your protein, your carbs, your fats throughout the entire day. It's going to help you feel a lot more full as opposed to say cramming, having a really heavy breakfast or, you know, having a heavy lunch in the middle of the day. It's not only going to help you digest the food better and keep your energy levels more stable, but it's going to help you like ration your food out so you're not like starving and having the midnight munchies. Midnight munchies. That's that's something. I've never said that before. I don't know what made me say that. Um, we're going to stick with it, though. What vitamins that I've been taking every day are ashwagandha, fish oil, vitamin D, zinc, calcium, magnesium. All of those are on my Amazon storefront. Link in the bio for them. Tell boys went out and we just got back. Uh, last meal of the night is just some egg whites and some chicken. I guess this gets me to one of my last points that I didn't really think about, but I try not to have that many carbs. I mean, I guess a rice cake, but not like a carb heavy meal before bed because carbs get broken down into glucose. Glucose is then energy for your body, but also your brain. So as I'm getting near to like when I'm trying to go to sleep, try not to have a lot of carbs because I don't want my brain to be active. Just allows for deeper sleep at the end of the day. Um, I sleep like a rock because of this and I've never had a problem with sleeping, so maybe it just works for me, maybe it works for you, who knows. But that pretty much brings us to the end of eating for today. As you can see in the MyFitnessPal right now, we totaled out to 2,762 calories, which ended up to be 224 grams of protein, 327 grams of carbs, and 67 grams of fat and then just kind of going through as you can see right now what the meal breakdowns look down kind of the portions of everything uh, i don't think i did a good job explaining just how much of each food i was kind of throwing in the dish at each time but as you can see it's all broken down right there um because i know i'm gonna get this question asked a lot of people do you get tired from eating the same thing every day it's both yes and no at this point in time the answer is yes i'm three weeks out from another bodybuilding show I'm not really gonna announce what it is right now because I really want it to be a surprise. Um, but I've been on prep at this point for around 20 weeks when it comes to like really tracking my calories and all that. This is mentally tiring. This is very difficult, I will not lie to you. Um, I do know the end result is gonna be worth it, which is what's making me push through. But I am gonna you know, talk a little bit about my mental health and my mental state um, after the show and just explain the, the what's next premise that has, you know, bittersweet taking over my life. I'm kind of ranting right now. Don't worry, your boy's doing fine. We're gonna fucking look great on that stage and that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, that's a full day of eating as well as some tips for how to manage your food with cutting and just kind of real talk. Like, although I smile a lot, you know, this shit is hard and it's gonna be hard if you wanna do something meaningful because that's what makes it meaningful. So if you're struggling right now, Trust your struggle, it is worth it. That's going to end us though today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Training plans, meal plans, everything on the website. Inner Flame, check it, link in the bio. Socials, link in the bio. Um, keep being great and yeah, appreciate you guys.